Hi, it's Jackie McKay from Classic Kids 1019. Today we are at Prevent Child Abuse Utah, and we're here today to talk about the Classic Kids 1019 Diaper Drive. Now, with the hustle and bustle of the holiday season, people often overlook the very important needs of the children in Utah. So, Classic Kids 1019 has partnered with Prevent Child Abuse Utah to collect as many diapers as we possibly can. And today we are joined by Trina Taylor. She is the direct executive director of Prevent Child Abuse Utah. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thank you so much. We're so excited to be part of this and for you to be part of us. Well, Classic Kids 1019, we were looking for something to do this holiday season that people could do maybe a little bit before Christmas time. I think so many people get involved in charities and they're looking for something to do. Mm -hmm. And diapers is a really simple thing. You're at the grocery store, you're grocery shopping, pick up a package of diapers, drop them off at the station. We'll have lots of different drop off locations for our listeners as well, but that's something that people can easily do. So I'm so glad that we've partnered. And it's so, so important. I know as a young mom, when I had two and three kids in diapers, it is so expensive. When we work with families that are low income and are struggling, diapers can just be like gold to them. Absolutely. Let's talk about Prevent Child Abuse Utah. What is it that you guys do exactly? Prevent Child Abuse Utah is a nonprofit agency. We're a chapter of Prevent Child Abuse America and we work throughout the state. We do a lot of education in the schools and in community and we do a lot of in-home programs across the Wasatch Front and that's what the diapers will be for, are the families that we work with in home doing primary child abuse prevention. Now, when this was first brought up to me, I was thinking the diapers were going to be used for something totally different, but these are going to be people who are already working with Prevent Child Abuse Utah, and who are kind of already in your system that are in need of diapers. Yes, absolutely. A lot of the families that we serve are low income, or they're in that class of the working poor that we talk about, where they work really hard, but can't meet all of their obligations. And so these diapers will help just alleviate that a little bit during this holiday season where it's already expensive and right. Christmas just keeps getting more expensive every year. So it's for them. How many children do you guys service throughout the entire year? Well, throughout the entire year with our in-home programs, we service right around 100 families. So, but those families are served, they might be served for six months and one of our programs actually goes into the home with the mom, hopefully prenatally, if not right after, within the first two months of the child's life. And we stay with those families for four to four and a half years until the baby is child is school ready, is what we call it. So once that child has grown up and they're ready to be involved in either Head Start or in another um, type of a school ready preschool, then we back out of um, their home. So that program actually starts with us going in once a week doing child and parent attachment and bonding exercises with them, teaching them parenting techniques, scheduling, just all of the things that are just hard to do as a parent. So we're collecting diapers, so we'll need sizes from newborn all the way up to a two or three year old who's not potty trained yet. Yes, absolutely. So I, th I think they go up to a five if I can remember from when my kids were in diapers. So yes, we do need those, those larger sizes as well. Um, and it's just amazing. These families are so grateful for anything that they get. And so I think this diaper drive is a fabulous idea and really will be helpful to the kids and to the parents. So we're talking about diapers. What are some other <coughs> basic needs of the children that you see from Prevent Child Abuse Utah? Well, a lot of our families just struggle with the very basic. So sometimes they don't have shelter, sometimes they're in shelter. Um, sometimes they have need for food and formula. If the baby's on a specific formula, that can even be more difficult. So it just depends on each individual family has individual needs. So let's talk about the importance of raising diapers. I mean, it's so important, I think, because you know, a lot of these parents are branded parents and they don't realize how expensive kids are. And I think when you're in a situation where money is so tight and life is so tough, if you don't have these needs, I would think that there's a greater chance of abuse. Is that true? Well, certainly it, we know that abuse actually sometimes goes up around the holidays because of the financial burden. Um, Any time that a family has more stress, the more stressors that are on the family, the more likely that they may abuse a child. But if we're in there early on in that child's life and we're in there consistently week after week, we're able to see what what are the strengths of the parents and that's what we work with. There's not their deficiencies but their strengths. Being able to help them meet 
their own obligations and be able to like provide a package of diapers when they need it can be like absolute blessings sent down for you know for the families because otherwise it's it's difficult. How do you distribute the diapers? So how do you decide where the diapers are going to go? The diapers that we collect, how will our listeners know that they're going to the families that need them? Okay, well, we actually have a store. Okay. And um, we have a little store in one of our locations just off of 24th Street in Ogden, Utah. And all of everything that ever gets donated to Prevent Child Abuse Utah for the in-home programs goes into this store. And then as parents um, come to groups, they have, we have a, a monthly group. When they meet with their home visitor, they receive what we call parent bucks. So they actually are able to go into the store and they buy the extras that they need with these parent bucks. It's part of helping them learn self-sufficiency, that things are not just going to be given to them always, but they have to do their part to get help. So, you know, we make it really easy for them. They can volunteer for extra parent dollars. And then that store has everything from diapers to formula to new clothes. And it's a great way that we've been able to connect with the community. Because then if I have a scout call and say, you know, I want to be able to do something. I can say, collect crayons and coloring books. And then the parents buy the things they need with their parent bucks. So it's been a really fun way for the community to get engaged with Prevent Child Abuse Utah and for us to give a little bit more back to our parents, but not completely free. Because we not all free work really hard in this life to do what we need to do. And, you know, same with our parents. They work hard. Even making those weekly visits with the in-home families, you know, that, that can be hard for families. I mean, I, it, I think back when I had first, you know, first had little kids, if somebody was coming into my home on a weekly basis, in some ways, I would have absolutely loved it. In other ways, I think I would have been stressed out about what my house looks like and this and that. So, you know, we work with these parents and we try and keep them engaged. And this store and our monthly meetings really helps us do that. Well, I hope that our listeners can help us raise at least a thousand diapers for these families. At least a thousand. Yeah. We have a hundred families that we serve. They're not all in diapers. But for the most part, they are. At least 80 of them are. So when you think about how many diapers all those little babies go through, really a well, thousand isn't anything. Right. That just makes it through maybe half of a day. <laughs> all right. So if you want more information, you can always log on to our website, classickids1019.com.